Hello there. So I thought um, that instead of doing a very long and very wordy um, blog post about what I bought at Edinburgh Yarn Festival, I thought I would try doing a video. Um, so the reason I was in Edinburgh for the Yarn Festival was to launch the this year's Shetland Wool Week pattern. So I'm um, this year's patron and every year they have a patron who designs a hat pattern. Well this will be the third year that they've done that. Um, and so the idea is that people who are coming to Shetland Wool Week would make the hat and then everybody can wear it and yeah. So last year was Donna Smith, she did the Babel hat which was has taken off in a big way so I knew I probably wouldn't be able to compete with that. Um, so what I came up with was, well this is the, so this is the pattern that we were handing out. So that came out on Friday. Um, and that's the pattern. So you can either, um, people have gotten this, the handout, or um, if you go to We'll just go to the Shetland Wool Week website um, and then there's a little form you fill in and then you can download the pattern and then you can make your craft hoose hat. So I had the samples with me so I have four four different samples that I made. Well, I knitted two of them and two of the people that work with me helped me by testing it in the pattern. So, so the first one is in Jimson Smith yarn. If it'll focus, you get the idea. Um, so I work at Jimson Smith. So this is the colorway I decided for that. And then this is um, naturally dyed um, jumper weight that I got at the Shetland Arts and Crafts craft fair last year. Um, so it's like madder and indigo and mushroom and all that kind of thing. So I like that. And I have um, corrugated rib, oh, you can kind of see it, um, which I love the look of but hate knitting. But it does look good, so you can't really deny it. Um, and then I have a Shetland Organics version, so that's all undyed natural sheep colours. And then this one is Jimson's Spindrift. So yeah, so that's the four samples of the hat. So we had them with us so people could see the different colours and I think a lot of a lot of people bought the yarn for it. So if you do make it, then if you tag your project or tag your photos on Instagram with the hashtag craft who's hat. Um because there's already quite a few on there, which is pretty weird. It's really good, but it feels weird. That it's something like from your head and then now people are making it. It's weird. Um, so yeah, I obviously <laughs> bought some stuff. And um, yeah, so the first thing I bought was there was a stand for um, Stephen and Penelope, which is the shop that Stephen West is the co-owner of in Amsterdam. And they're a stockist of Jimson Smith. So we send stuff down quite a lot. And um, I saw there was a lady who walked past the stand um, wearing this like cowl thing. Um, like literally she just walked past and in the time it took her to walk past I noticed it and it was in a really like a bright pink coral colour. So I think that was kind of in my head when I went over to the Steve, to the um, Stephen and Penelope. That's a little thing that came in the bag. That's cute. And um, so this is what I got. So it's um, Hedgehog Fibres Sock Yarn. And this is, it's 90% Merino, 10% Nylon. Um, pretty bright. <laughs> but I just, I don't know. Just really liked it. So that's the plan make some type of neck thing in it. 
pretty sure it was lacy, like the thing that the lady is wearing, so. I mean, I might do something quite simple with it, because the colour kind of speaks for itself. But I think it's nice. Um, so that, I think, was the first, yeah, that was the first thing I bought. And I have wanted to try this Hedgehog Fibre stuff. I see quite a lot of stuff about it on Instagram. And then, I think Stephen West, a lot of his designs is using this, so. There's some other, cr like, cra crazy colours. But. I don't really wear that much crazy clothes, so this is my first step into it. Um, and then, so I bought some uh, stuff from Kate Davis, her Buchle. Um, so I bought enough, uh, I think I bought six. Of smells so nice. Of the squall to make the here's the postman. Uh, to make the Miss Rachel's yoke that she just released um, in time for Edinburgh, and she actually she sent me a picture of it a few weeks ago, so I had a bit of a sneak peek, and I knew that I was definitely gonna make it. So I. I have, I got a membership to the Seven Skeens uh, club when it came out, but things have just been crazy, so I've never actually done anything with any of that. So I didn't buy any uh, colours for the yoke, but I did buy one each of her new colours. I think I think there's just three. That's the three I got anyway. So it's like the, the pink and the yellow, which I like. And the red, so I think. I mean, her one is um, the body is the light grey, which is really nice as well. But I thought I'd go for the dark grey for the body, and then I probably won't use the exact same colours as she has in her yoke. Um, but I'll probably definitely use the mustard and um, like the orange and the grey. But I might need to take in either the pink, and I'm not really a pink person at all but this is nice I think it looks quite nice on my skin tone so I got that so I'm very excited that'll be one of my next projects um and then I also got from New Lanark had a stand and they had like a big thing with um like huge hanks and big and strange weights of cones and stuff. So I got this cone which I don't know if it will focus on it. Yeah so you can see it's like a dark grey with um, flecks of orange and blue in it. So I think what I can imagine is a, a yoke jumper with that for the body and sleeves and then blue and orange in the yoke. I think that would be pretty nice. And it's DK, which I don't I don't knit a lot with. Um but look, Kate's here and it's DK. So I think I need to get because like Shetland wool is usually four ply, like two ply jump for it's like a four ply. So that's usually why why knit with. Um and I think she said, the wife that served me, I think it's like wool and then I think the little flex is silk or something. I'm not sure. It's not very thick DK, so should be fine. But that as well. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Sometime. Um, and then I got, this was, it was spread over the two days. I didn't buy it all on one day. Um, I kind of went back uh, on Saturday, then it kind of calmed down a bit near to the end, so I got wet, got to go for a proper like look into some of the stalls. And then there was a stand, um, I think it was Midwinter Yarns or something, and it was all like Scandinavian stuff, which is, which I quite like. I mean, I'm much more of a wool, wool. I don't use a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, 
it's just I think working um, at Jim's and Smith that's what I've since I got back into knitting then it's always been um, really 100% wool that I've worked with so I got this um, Acta Lovica Um, in this nice grey colour which I thought I would use for I downloaded I think it's called Burnaby or something um, Brooklyn Tweed pattern from their new Gansey collection so I downloaded that um, last week I think and I thought that this would make a nice substitution, substitution for that because it's chunky and it's a bit more kind of because I have the quarry stuff and I've, I'm making a jumper in it actually just now. But it's quite, um, well all Brooklyn tweed yarns I find um, quite hard to get a good rib on it. I've seen people saying about doing twisted rib and stuff so I might try that again um, another time. But I thought this would be quite good. And so I got the same in bright orange. I think that's nice. It's not, it's not as... Um, Scratchy, it looks quite scratchy. When I first saw it, I was like, you know, when you go to touch it, and I was like, oh, it's gonna be really rough. But it's not. So that. I kind of got that way where I didn't buy, um, I have so much yarn that I didn't want to buy too much stuff. So I just bought, um, like a few bits, trying with the idea of planning something before I. So then I also got this hank of um, not royalty stuff which um, is an arm weight and it's really nice and soft as well and um, the lady on the sand told me that she'd used this before before as a alternative to Brooklyn Tweed shelter so that was why I got that as well just for a kind of alternative and I love that it's fair it's like a really nice um, light grey and very nice I'm not sure where else you can buy this um, it's £9.50 I only know because the sticker is on it so that was pretty good um, and then what else do I have I bought a few like project bags and stuff like that because that seems better as buying yarn. Not really is it. Um, it's just giving me more places to hide the yarn. Um, so from Isolde I bought a project bag and I wish now I should have bought um, one of her her new yarn, her new the blend one I think it's called. I should have bought one of them because that's a, that's a really nice light grey as well. And then I also got from her a uh, tape measure, which I love a good tape measure. That's quite a nice one. So. Um, and then I mostly just have different people's cards and stuff just to try and um, find things again when I ever need to. And then this was, I met this um, Claire from the NH Knits podcast, which she kind of encouraged me. I said to her, I was thinking about doing um, videos every now and again. She said that was a good idea. Um, and then from Anna Maltz Sweater Spar, I bought her Diagon Apples pattern because she had a few of the scarves hanging up and they do look pretty good. So I bought that and then her, this one, which I think most people there had the same, has a like a download code so you can put it in your Ravelry library, which is a good idea. Um, but it's very much like a, you would just do a little bit on it every now and again. And see like the way that sits, like I wear these um, American Apparel circle scarves like every day because I'm always cold. Um, so it'd be nice to have something that's a bit more woolly. Um, and I'll probably use jumper weight because I have so much um, like little bits 
and leftovers and stuff that I need to try and use up. Um, like it's it's done using um, embroidery wool, which is less wet, but I think you'd be fine. And doing it for ply, you just get a, like a bit bigger, which is fine. Um, and then, oh yeah, I took this was like we had some promote chat and stuff on the stand, and we had, and uh, I got one of the sixty north magazines, which you can you can look at it online, but it's like so nicely um designed and the paper was so nice. So. And then I've given this which is always nice. Get presents. Um knitting with two colours. Techniques for stranded knitting and designing coloured pattern colour pattern garments. Um so Amy Ditchen gave me that and I met her um Last year, for the first time, she had a tour group in Shetland, um, and they came to my work, and then I did a talk kind of thing with them at night time. Um, I'm doing that again this year, they're coming again. And it looks really good, it's just, um, a lot of it is things I know how to do, but it's fine to have, like, kind of written instructions that you could go off of if you ever needed to kind of explain. And she's done that with, it's like published by Schoolhouse Press, so it's um, Meg Swanson, who's like Elizabeth Zimmerman's daughter. If you knew that, you probably did, but. Um, so yeah, that was very nice. I love getting presents. Um, and then I was also given this um, by Rachel Atkinson, because I was wondering, I had so much stuff in then. Um, she gave me one of her project bags. Well, it's like a tote bag. And that's her new um, daughter of a shepherd. So she's done yarn um, like from her own from her family sheep. Which is good. I dig that. And I love her logo. I think it's good. Um, so that was pretty much all my purchases. I was quite well behaved. And um, I probably would have been worse if there was loads of people that took, um, you could pay by card, which is dangerous. Um, but yeah, so I didn't spend, I didn't buy too much stuff because I have so much yarn and I need to try and get through. But I think apart from this is kind of a, it was a bit of a wild card purchase. But I also, I mean, I have loads of bits of, I went through like a Madeleine Tosh um, unicorn tails phase I just kept buying them because they're so like little and cute so I um, if I don't find, although I don't know if I would want to mix this like that might be too full on maybe on its own would be better um, but yeah I can find um, something to make with all that stuff and then so on the so this is the everybody had like a, a little thing that made you feel special and um, on the Friday I wore um, my puffin jumper the third one I made um, in the original colourway the Jimson Smith one and um, that's a good thing about look things like uh, yarn festivals or wool week and stuff is everybody like really appreciates what you're wearing <laughs> and uh, like you get so many nice comments on it so, so that was uh, what I wore, wore the puffin jumper on the Friday and then on the Saturday I wore um, my I've done a jumper um, kind of to go with the hat not to go with you, you probably wouldn't wear it together that would be maybe overkill but um, and I've done it in totally different colours, I think, which makes it a bit less. I've got some weird kind of shadow. Hello, I'm sorry, my uh, battery died. So I've just had to charge it. Um, so I had some lunch and now I'm back. Um, so what I was showing you was my um, craft house yoke. So that's... Um, on the way at the moment, so I'm 
uh, working on the pattern and it's kind of crazy and hard but I've had um, Kate Davis has helped me quite a lot with how you kind of write out um, and how you grade multi-size patterns because I've never done that before and um, I'm going to get it technically edited and all that good stuff so that should be coming out soon so I wanted to get it finished and wear it to Edinburgh not well it's just you know it's nice to wear something you've just finished and um, also kind of gauge people's reaction to it and if I thought it was going to be a kind of viable thing to do and I had really good feedback and people said lots of nice things about it so I'm very excited about that and then um, the only other thing I got was I went to Armstrong's which is one of my favourite uh, vintage shops in it's in the grass market in Edinburgh and um, they always have good knitwear um, so I always go in for a look and there was there was a like a purple fair isle jumper which I didn't buy because honestly I, I'm not going to wear it so but I did find this um, men's fair isle jumper it's pretty big but so it's a Lawrence uh, J Smith so it's been made in Shetland and then ended up in Edinburgh so I've taken it home again um, so it's quite unusual colours murat and purple and grey and yellow and orange and stuff and I think it was £11 something like that so it's always worth um, going in there um, but yeah that's pretty much everything that I bought um, when I was there um, oh, I bought this um, giant safety pin <laughs> I kind of thought it would be a good like shawl like a scarf pin or something I needed to I don't know really I just thought I just like things like this something fun about it like that um, but no it was the whole thing was really good the feedback and everything from people was really good and it's quite um, nerve wracking to I mean people put out patterns all the time but um, putting it out and then giving it to people and, and then of course not everybody who we were giving it to realised that I was the person that had designed it so I was like terrified that somebody would say something horrible but no way did um, so yeah that's a that's my purchases at Edinburgh and yeah so if you do make a craft house hat and then later on craft house jumper then just tag things on Instagram and put stuff on Ravelry and stuff so that little old me in Shetland can see it and um, yeah see what people are making so let me know if you think also if it's a good idea to do videos every now and again I might never do it again but think how long it would have taken me to do a blog about all those things and take all the photos and edit all the photos and everything it would take me ages so um, I'll be back soon with another blog post and thank you for watching <laughs>